Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at five features of Google Slides that every teacher should know about. So let's go ahead and get started here with my blank presentation. We'll just call this one a sample presentation. And now let's go in and add a new slide. Now I'm gonna change this layout here to just a blank one. And the first feature that everyone should be aware of is how to change the background on an individual slide or on an entire set of slides. So let's go into background and you can change the color. Perhaps I'm gonna use that as my background color or I can leave it clear but I can also add an image to this. Let's say I want to upload an image to use as my background. Now I can upload from my computer here, and I might use that one. And if I select Done, this will apply only to this individual slide. If I select Add to Theme, that will apply to all of the slides that I create in my presentation. Now the other way we can go about doing this is we can do a search for an image that is labeled for reuse. Perhaps I want a picture of the United States, a map of the United States to use. And maybe I'll make that my background. And now that's the background on my slide. Now the next thing we'll look at is how to crop an image. So this background image is going to be full bleed, full resolution across the background. But I can also add an image on top of this. So let's go ahead and insert an image. Let's go ahead and upload a picture here. And we'll use this one again. Now, you may find that this image is too big for the space that you need it to appear in on your slides. Now, you could just click and drag the corners and shrink it down, but you could also crop the image itself. And to do that, go up here and you can select an option to mask around the edges. So perhaps I'll round it out. I can also go in and crop and I have a new set of lines that will allow me to crop out parts of that image. And there's my new image with the rounded edges. And of course I can click and drag and move that part around. Now the next thing we're going to look at here, and our third feature that you should be aware of, is the transitions option in Google Slides. So let's go back to the beginning. Select Transition. We'll do a slide transition. We can say slide from the right. Let's go ahead and play that. And that's how that will work. Now we can apply it to all the slides so that every time we switch between slides, they all slide in from the right. Now on this next slide, we'll look at adding animations. So let's say add an animation. We'll select that image here. Select add animation. We'll have that fade in on a click. And now let's go ahead and play that. See how that looks. And now that image appears. So our next, next feature that we're going to look at is the presentation mode here. And in presentation mode, there's a couple of neat features available to teachers. So let's go ahead and use our presenter view. We'll present from the beginning. And you'll notice we have this audience tools option. And this audience tools option will automatically put in this header of ask a question at goo.gl slash slide slash 6nw6n. Uh, now that URL is going to be different for every slide presentation, 
but that will allow your students to submit questions that will then appear here. And you can turn that off if you decide you don't want to use it and turn it back on and you'll see that appears. The other option we have down here in the bottom left corner is a laser pointer option. When I move my mouse, I can simply drag around and highlight a portion of the map as I'm doing right here or any portion of any slide. So those are five features of Google Slides that all teachers should be aware of for the new school year. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.